everybody, it's three guys with three things where the views and opinions expressed are not necessarily those of management. Mike, you are up. <laughs> well, Larry, heading into this final preseason game, the safety position took an interesting turn this week for the Packers because they know who their top two are, Adrian Amos, Darnell Savage, clearly. There's been a lot of competition amongst younger guys. Well, also this week, Will Redmond, who at the start of training camp you thought would be the number three safety, he's now on injured reserve. His season is over. The Packers have Henry Black, Vernon Scott, Christian Uphoff, Innis Gaines, a lot of young, big athletic guys who are trying to carve out some time on special teams, also trying to make this roster as a reserve safety that could be used in the dime package. All sorts of things going on here the Packers have to figure out. Thank you, Mike. Wes? Well, as turns go, the receiver position has seen a lot of twists and turns this camp, and this is kind of the final addition for those guys trying to grab the number six and seven spot. You've seen Equinemius St. Brown return to practice this week, getting some run with the first team offense. Certainly a young guy like Malik Taylor, who I think a lot of people was sort of not really on their, the forefront of their mind going into camp. He's made a compelling case for a roster spot. You have to finish strong if you want to get those last few spots. Guys, if I was a betting man, I would bet that Royce Newman winds up being the starter at right guard. And the Packers' magic at drafting offensive linemen in the fourth round continues. Think about it. Josh Sitton, TJ Lang, David Bakhtiari, and now Royce Newman, all drafted in the fourth round. Amazing. Anything else for the go to the hole? A little bit of a different deal now, Larry, in this new CBA environment. Final cuts aren't this weekend. It's actually going to be on Tuesday, so guys will have to think about it a little bit longer, but then gives the team a week and a half to prepare for that first game against the New Orleans Saints. All right, and that's three guys with three things. See you next time.